Camry. The name roughly translates to the Japanese word for crown, and it is the king of sales, being the best-selling passenger car in the U.S. for the past 12 years running. I'm Tom Volk with Driven for the New York Times. Never a design statement, common descriptors have been vanilla, bland, and appliance. The 2015 model adds some pizzazz. French vanilla, perhaps? Toyota had to respond to the in-class competition. Fusion, Optima, Mazda 6, and Chrysler 200 are awfully good-looking cars these days. On the other hand, I've talked to current Camry owners, and they're perfectly happy with the old, not-so-bold design, and Toyota can't afford to alienate them. It walks that tightrope well. Camry's new duds eliminate the slab side. The boldest element clearly has Lexus spindle grille envy, though Toyota says the family resemblance is coincidental. Delicate lines on the hood dress to impress, but the faux window insert is the equivalent of a pocket protector. The powertrains are carried over. There's a 178 horsepower four cylinder, a hybrid, and what I'm driving. This 3.5 liter V6 makes 268 horsepower. Gas only Camrys get a six speed automatic. SE and XSE models have paddle shifters. Cars are not just about design. The V6 does the dash to 60 miles an hour in about six seconds flat. This Camry's platform is pretty much carried over from the generation before it, and its platform was pretty much carried over from the Camry before that one. Toyota says 22 new spot welds to the structure add a full percent of torsional rigidity to the chassis. XSE is the sportiest Camry, ride quality is firm, and bumps are felt. There's not a lot of road feel. Body movements are very nicely controlled. The steering is on the light side. I'd like a little bit more heft. In the end, if you want the handling of a BMW or a GTI, buy a BMW or a GTI. Driving enthusiasts will find rivals Mazda 6, Fusion, Passat, and Accord more engaging to pilot. With more sound insulation, Camry is moderately quiet. Keep in mind this XSE and XLE models add a laminated noise-reducing windshield when ordered with the V6. Fuel economy remains the same from the outgoing model. The dashboard is carried over from the last Camry, but the center stack is redesigned. Controls are nicely laid out and easy to read. All in all, it's pretty straightforward in here. That's not a bad thing, since that includes the Entune user interface. Take a phone call and radio broadcasts buffer in memory, then they resume when you hang up. XSE's microsuede material feels good and provides grip when cornering hard. Decent bolstering helps too. If you need a good size back seat, Camry delivers head, knee, and legroom pretty generous. Footroom, a little tight. Competitors Optima and Sonata offer the option of rump roasters back here. Camry doesn't. There's no power port, but the expected storage spots are here. Passat and Accord's rear quarters might be a little roomier, but this should satisfy most families. A good sized trunk is important in this segment, otherwise you might as well buy a crossover. That segment recently outsold sedans for the first time ever. Seats fold, but not completely flat. It helps to make the trunk more useful and seven packs of the two-ply is better than average. No grab handle means hands can get dirty and be careful, the trunk arms can squeeze cargo. Prices start at 23,800 bucks. Equipped with smart cruise control, pre-collision system, and blind spot warning, this loaded car retails for about 35.2. The quick restyling of this sedan speaks volumes about how white hot this segment is. While I wouldn't call it bold, the new design should keep loyal owners from straying so Camry can keep its sales crown. There will be those who say Toyota did not go far enough with this all-new design, and that camp will also complain that the chassis and powertrain are largely left untouched. Completely understood. Camry owners tend to buy every other generation and often don't even look at the competitors. 
I get this too. Life is complicated, and this sedan is a security blanket to those who pledge their allegiance to all things Toyota. I will always play the devil's advocate, though. Automobiles have become incredibly reliable across the board, and this segment has some tantalizing choices. So do yourself a favor and test drive at least three different vehicles. Experience them. That way you know that the one that ends up in your driveway is really, truly the best fit for you. That is my opinion of the bold new 2015 Toyota Camry. Thanks for sticking around to the very end. I work hard on these videos. That's Driven. I'm Tom Volk.